Hi, I'm Tim Witham. I'm an Associate Professor of Neurosurgery here at Johns Hopkins in the Spine Division. I'm one of five members of the Spine Division who focus on disorders solely related to spinal disease. My particular interest involves degenerative problems in adults, uh, including adult degenerative deformities. Back pain is a very common problem. It's estimated that about 80 to 90 percent of Americans will have at least one memorable episode of back pain during their lifetime. We always try to treat back pain and disorders related to degenerative problems in the spine with non-surgical approaches first, medications, physical therapy, pain management, sometimes with various types of spinal injections. However, when these options fail, then we are going to look toward surgical options. Our group here has a very conservative approach. We like to maximize patients' medical conditions prior to considering surgery. My research interests focus on improvement of spinal fusion in patients. We have laboratory models where we test ways to improve the ability to fuse the bone in spinal disorders, which is directly translatable to patients and their surgical disease. Therefore, given that we don't take surgery lightly, we like to maximize things like bone quality. I will always check the bone density of patients so that we can maximize it for the surgery. We check calcium levels, vitamin D levels, to try to improve their ability to get the bone to fuse if they need a spinal fusion procedure. It's taking this comprehensive approach that I think improves outcomes. We have a vast experience treating patients with spinal disease. We have a subspecialization within our group practice such that I focus only on patients with spinal degenerative disease and spinal degenerative deformities. This way, we get the most experience in treating patients and hopefully finding the best options for treatment. This, I think, ultimately maximizes outcomes, which really is the ultimate goal.